it's the number one, a number one uh, issue uh, for all constituents, myself included. We, we don't live, we only live about four miles out of town. Um, but, uh, and, and as, as I tell the people around the state house, we're 25 miles south of uh, Broad and High uh, for downtown Columbus, and we have no broadband um, uh, access. And in fact, our cell coverage isn't all the greatest. So it's, it's a ut utility like, uh, uh, like electricity was once, and, and uh, water and, and uh, sewer. Um, so it, it's, it's something that, uh, you know, government is the answer for everything, but government definitely plays a part here in uh, incentivizing providers to, uh, to get out um, to the rural areas where, it, understandably, on their own, it may not be economical uh, for them to do it. The main issue is updating the maps. Um, uh, as you know, um, Connected Nation um, Ohio has had a project um, to get the up maps updated, and they get that data from the providers. Um, and and as, a, as many of our constituents know, um, what what the providers say that they are, are providing and what's actually uh, being received are sometimes two different things. So we're going to let be able to let constituents know how they can um, how they can give. Uh, real-time data to, uh, to to update the maps. I'm thrilled to death to see that uh, that the federal uh, government opened it, op have their eyes opened um, to the need um, because, as we said, it's it's not no longer just a uh, a, a nice thing to have. It's it's a uh, necessity.